Hi students, in this session, I am going to explain the questions which I gave in previous video that is six tricks to solve bond angle questions. In that, the first example is H2O example. See, again, I will explain you one more time so that you get more clarity. This is oxygen, okay? This is H2S for example. In this case, which is more electronegative, find hybridization, you get same hybridization sp3. Uh, how to find hybridization? Oxygen is having 6 electrons, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And bonded atoms are, hydrogen can form only one bond. And remaining 2 lone pairs is, two electrons consider as one lone pair. 2 electrons consider as one lone pair. So, total number of bonds, 1, 2, 3, 4. If steric number is 4 means hybridization is sp3. Link of hybridization, just a 2 minutes video, I will give in description, watch that. Here, in this 2, hybridization is same, lone pairs also same, bonded atoms also same, only central atom is different. So, this is, this comes under uh, trick number 3. In that case, what you have to do? If electronegativity increases, then what happens? Electronegativity, which is more electronegative, oxygen. So, it draws the electrons of bonded pair. Bonded pair means which are present between two atoms, which is not involving, that is lone pair. So, these two electrons goes towards the oxygen, central atom. When electron pair comes closer to the central atom, in that case, repulsion is more. These two electron pairs will ripple. When repulsion is more, bond angle will be more. So, top to bottom, as electronegativity of central atom decreases, bond angle decreases. Here, if you observe, the bond angles will be almost very close. It will be explained by Drago's rule. You will, I will make another video on Drago's rule. This is bond angle. So, here not required. Just if you learn, it's enough. Now, see the next one. CO, C, COF2, COCl2, COBr2, COI2. What happens here is, if uh, one more point I want to tell you. Here, same hybridization, sp2, 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 you, because double bond is there here, sp2 hybrid, same hybridization. When size of bonded atoms increases, simply you can say, if size of bonded atom increases, simply you can say that bond angle also increases because this bigger atom creates the repulsion so that bond angle increases okay now see the next one bf3 bcl3 bbr3 bi3 in this case what happens to the bond angle find hybridization you will get here boron right boron having three electrons in valence shell each fluorine can form one one bond so that total three bonds, so steric number hybridization is sp2. In every case, it will be same. You do it, you get hybridization sp2, 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 sp2. There is no lone pairs here. No lone pair, same hybridization, perfect geometry. So in that perfect geometry, all bond angles will be same. Very interesting, no? Same one more question also I have given this one. You see this one? SH, SH4, SAF4, SACL4. Silicon is having four electrons in valence shell. Each hydrogen can form one one bond or each fluorine can form one one bond. Each chlorine can form one one bond. Total number of bonds are three, four. So, steric number is four. Then hybridization is sp3. In such case, there is no lone pairs, exact geometry, perfect geometry. In this case, bond angles will be same. Got it? Got the clarity? Please hit on like if you like this point. Super point. See, SF4, SCF4. How to find it? First, find hybridization. Oxygen, sulfur, selenium, same family. Oxygen is having six electrons. One, two, three. That's why I have given in previous video also how many electrons each one having also. Huh? So, one, two, three, four, five, six. Each fluorine can form one, one bond. Each fluorine can form one, one bond. So, then, oh, sorry. Total four fluorines only. These two lone pairs, two electrons consider as one lone pair. So one, two, three, four, five. 
sp3d hybridization must you should learn hybridization how to find uh, sp3d hybridization with one lone pair so lone pair is there means it is not perfect geometry distortion will be there repulsion will be there so here then central atom same hybridization calculate this also same family so you get same hybridization same hybridization same uh, bonded atoms everything is same then but central atom is different then what is this case in this case you should say central atom electronegativity increases then uh, bond angle increases why if central atom drawing the electrons close to it then repulsions will be created you don't need to learn shapes also simply uh, you can find by hybridization sf4 is more than scf4 let's see one more question see this question so3 is there so co2 so2 so3 Let's see the next example. CO2, SO2, SO3. Find hybridization. CO2. Carbon having four electrons in valency shell. Each oxygen forms two bonds. So, hybridization is SP. And SO2 is having six electrons in valency shell. Each oxygen form two two bonds. Remaining left electrons consider as lone pair. Hybridization is SP2. SO3 is having six electrons in the valency shell sulfur. Each oxygen two two bonds. So, hybridization total number of bonds is three. Hybridization SP2. So, SP, SP2 which will be having more bond angle? Yes, SP, 180 degree. So, first CO2 will come. Fine. First priority is CO2. Then SO2, SO3, which one will come next is both have same hybridization. But it is not having lone pair. It is having lone pair. So, lone pairs increases. Repulsions increases. As I told you, lone pair increases. Repulsions increases. So, bond angle decreases. This point you should understand like this, uh, uh, you know, uh, repulsions increases. So, this two comes down like this. So, that bond angle decreases. So, in this two which is having more bond angle, the one without having lone pair is having more bond angle. So, next one is SO3. Last one is SO2. This is the correct order. First is SP I told you no? that is CO2. So, CO2, SO3, SO2 is the correct bond, bond order. See the next one. Last example. Example, NH3, PH3, SH3, SBH3, BIH3. NH3, what is the hybridization students? Nitrogen is having 5 electrons in the valency shell. Each hydrogen can form 1-1 one, one bond. Remaining 2 electrons consider as 1 lone pair. So, hybridization is SP3. If SP3, 1 lone pair. Everything is same. You find SP3, 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 SP3. Same family. And then, but here lone pair is there. Bonded atoms are same. But if lone pair is not there means then perfect geometry bond angle will be same. But here lone pairs are present. So, it is not a perfect geometry. Distortion will be there. In that case, point number 3, trick number 3, what is that? Electronegativity of central atom is more. Then it draws electrons towards the central atom. Then repulsions will be more. So, repulsions more bond angle will be more top to bottom bond angle decreases okay so this is the last example clear got the clarity clarity see how many examples how many examples you learned huh? in a short time you have learned copy note it down any question any material any coaching whatever coaching you are going wherever you are studying just to follow these examples try this video uh, you definitely uh, you will fat off what you will solve the questions uh, i hope you understand this video uh, if you like this video please hit on like if you're first time you know listening my uh, video please uh, subscribe to my channel my name is komali i'm your chemistry mentor thank you so much for watching this video see you in next video bye i love you